Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you a video I took the other day doing a very basic training session with Vader, my giant schnauzer. On this channel, I make a lot of animal videos, which includes this guy right here, Vader, my one-year-old and some months giant schnauzer. And we have done a few training sessions with him with a professional, which helped us a lot, but we just haven't been able to be consistent with it as we would like and as Vader deserves. And so this video is just me doing some basic things that I learned from the trainer that are really effective when done properly. Giant Schnauzers are really high strung and powerful. And so this can be a really bad combination without training, which we sometimes experience every day. We still love him nonetheless. He's an amazing dog. He's very funny and silly and has a very unique personality and he's gorgeous. And so we really love him, but we are definitely not there with even the basic commands right now. And so hopefully we'll be able to dedicate all the time that he deserves. And so he will be able to act the way that we want. Mostly just basic commands and having his focus on us is our main goal right now. And so this video is just showing you some really basic techniques and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much if you do that in advance. Many dogs are driven by food and play. And so thankfully Vader is definitely one of those dogs. And so with the correct treat, which is considered high value, your dog will be able to follow your basic commands. And so in this video, I'm just using some very, very tiny pepperoni bits. Not saying that's the best thing to use. That's the only thing I had though. Sometimes I use hot dogs. Um, and basically you just lead your dog into the things that you want them to do. And with enough consistency, they will come to learn the associated words with these commands. And so in this video, I was working on down and Vader got this really quickly. And so all I do is lead him with the treat. I couldn't find my little pouch fanny pack thing. So unfortunately I had to just hide it like underneath my arm or in my hand. And so I was working on down with him. He has sit, but down he didn't have before. And so just within this 15 minutes, he got it, which shows he really is smart enough to know what I'm asking of him, which I'm sure he knows what I'm asking of him most of the time. He's just really stubborn. And so that comes back to the lack of consistency in training. And I, I, I do realize that. And so here I am just telling him the command down before this, before he would actually do it, you just lead him with the treat all the way down to the floor. And so I was doing that and then eventually I did not lead him down to the floor. I just was giving him the command down. And he got this very, very quickly once he realized that he was going to be getting the treat. Vader is a lot better when he's by himself. And so here you can see that I was just leading him down to the floor. And again, this is just a very typical technique where you lead them by their nose with that treat. And it has to be high reward. So that means something that they really want. And so in this case, Vader really loves hot dogs or pepperonis or cheese and things like that. Again, Vader is very good. Well, he's better when he's by himself compared to being with our other dogs. And so I did have him in our backyard trying to do these commands and there was distractions. Our neighbor's dog, as you can see, he just ran away, but I told him leave it. And every time he left it, I would just reinforce with treats, a lot of treats when he's doing what I want him to. And so it's really important that when they do what you say, reward them immediately, even with the smallest good job or a good boy or yes. and give them treats, bunch of treats, so they know that they can expect that when they do the right thing. Eventually, this will lead to, hopefully, them doing it without a treat at all. And so this does take consistency and technique, and this is just a really simplified way and a really short, like, 10-minute session that I did with him in our backyard. The next thing I'm working on is going to be roll over and stay. And so what I can tell you from my experience here is to just lead your dog with the treat, give them the command, and even if they don't do it properly, reward them because the first couple times they're not going to get it. Then eventually you can give the command and not give the treat. And so sometimes I do that where I just reward him by saying good job 
for a scratch or play. Dogs that are motivated by food and play can be easier trained. And so this is something that you can take full advantage of with your giant schnauzer or any dog. I highly recommend that you outsource a professional trainer. That is going to be your best route to get your dog working or doing the commands that you would like them to. And so right now we're just trying to get the basics. And I know that Vader is so smart and he really is able to understand what I'm asking of him. But he's also stubborn, powerful, distracted. And just really playful and so this will take time and i hope that as we progress he will be able to follow these commands with just us telling him to and so thank you guys so much for watching this video today again i am not a dog trainer by any means so i don't really know what i'm doing but what i've learned from the trainer so far has really been helpful and so i'm just trying to take that and apply it to basic commands and we'll see how that goes I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have not. And I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye!